Looks like it timed out. A long-lived piece. Is that an end? The Emperor of Palamecia has called forth monsters from the underworld. And has begun his campaign for world conquest. A rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn to thwart the Emperor's plans. too fast. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. Four youths from Finn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire. But their escape wasn't over. Okay, cut up. So I did finish the game on the Game Boy Advance, I think. Hilda, will you live? will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. that we found them like this on the escape from Finn, fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. Min Wu, his life is not in danger. This signal will 
will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Hilda, of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought, their building and bash their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. By the way, This is the outfit you get in Final Fantasy XIV Heaven Sword Collector's Edition. I know so because every time I started a new care character, it was the only outfit I hit. So I'd just glamour it onto whatever I was wearing until I got to 50. Furion, where am I? Am I? Where are you? Oh, there they are. So one of the immediate changes from FF1 to FF2 here. Is that the name party members actually speak? So they're actually a part of the story, and not just nameless silent protagonists. This is the first game with canon names. Maria, Firion, you're alive. I thought I thought you'd. Firion, I'm fine, Maria.
You seem all right too, guy. But wait, where's Leon? Guy, Princess of Finn, save us. But Leon not here. Tyrion, I see. Don't worry. I'm sure he's okay. Hilda, so you've regained your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. Varian, it was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please let us to join the rebel army. Hilda, I could never allow such a thing. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. Maria, but we have no homes. Not anymore. attacked and our parents are parents. Hilda, I am truly sorry, but that changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. Password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. So this is new. Or rather. If you played 14, you actually get this reference. So this game actually gives you a conversation mini.
Royal Hilda of Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents her hope for a flourishing future of strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives suffer there in confinement even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous to travel to now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Min Wu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of some assistance. So I actually use the controller for moving. But I use the mouse to advance the dialogue. I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. You will begin by journeying to Finn. That is the first step toward realizing your fate. You've wasted no time using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's a dangerous place to be, you see. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Gatria. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the signal that saved your life.
There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're going to need all the advice they can spare. The port of Palum lies not far east of here. But a lake separates us, so you won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. This is the Rebel Army's War Room. Was this animation always a bit janky? Up and down looks okay. Left and right Kindle look like they're doing a Cossack dance. Nothing happens. Ten bearded fellows. Okay, as much as I would like to read a tutorial again, I think I'm just going to carry on. You're in the rebel hideout in the town of Altair. Gordon, the Prince of Keshwin, is hiding out here in Altair. I don't know what happened, but something has made him lose faith in himself. The chest contained potion.
King of Finn, and Nero struck me in the back during the battle, leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda now serves as regent. You should speak with her. This is the king's bedchamber. His Majesty was grievously wounded in the flight from Finn. He's been resting here for some time now. Princess Hilda fled here when Finn was sacked. She's doing a remarkable job of leading the rebel army while His Majesty recovers. Paul, I'm Paul, greatest thief in all the world. They've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. The Imperial coffers have kept my purse fat with deal lately. steal from the rebel can be sure of that. My home was in Finn, Fintra. I can't even go home now that the Empire has occupied this city. This is the town of Altair, the Imperial forces haven't been deployed this far out yet. I suppose it's only a matter of time, though. This is clearly an inn. Gordon. My name is Gordon. I was once a prince of Keshuan. Now I'm nothing but a coward. When my brother Scott fell in battle, I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. So, you've asked to take up arms in the struggle. I'm so afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. I've been stalling here. I'm just a spineless coward. Go ahead, laugh. I deserve it.
I'll say he's too skilled thief, but don't worry, you can trust him. He only steals from the Imperials. I should mention that this will be a recurring theme. In the previous game, there was a thief class, but no actual steal command. for you. So this is where things are different already. You can buy magic that everyone can use. it can be taught. Looks like if you want everyone to have it, you'll have to buy it four times. Tobol, the fellow over in that weapon shop, is one fine blacksmith. I think something's been bothering him lately, though. That sounds like a quest. What could you want with me? I'm just an old man. or act as just a cover. My name's Tobol, and I'm the best darn blacksmith in the rebel army.
Also looks like anyone can use any weapon. This is the village of Gitria. Finn is just over there across the lake. See? The Imperial forces have occupied Castle Finn. The gates are drawn and no one can enter. And with Imperial troops and monsters roaming the streets, the city isn't any better off. There's a pub just on the outskirts of Finn. When the Empire invaded, the barkeep didn't make it out in time. They say he's still working there, pouring drinks for the Imperials. Katria and Altair haven't fallen into the clutches of the Empire yet. Once the Dreadnought is complete, nothing will be able to stop the Empire.
Yes, I talked to everyone there already. Looks like these aren't quite the pushover. Welcome, please come in. It will cost eight gil to rest up and heal. Would you like to stay? Pleasant dream. Tyrion, Finn is just as we've heard. The city is crawling with Imperial soldiers. We 
you have to be careful. Make sure not to get too close. Remember, the kid said the pub was outside the town. Bartender, whoa, where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter.
Imperials are as ill-bred as they come. Aha, you're with the rebels. You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. Hum, what am I going to do? I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. Bye bye. Soldier, are you going to turn me over to the Empire? At least have the decency to kill me first. Soldier, I don't want them to take me alive. So are a rebel soldier, sir, you. My name is Scott. I am a prince of Cashwin. Furion, Prince Scott, we were told you fell in the battle. Thank goodness you're still alive. Scott, I am, but not not for much longer. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. There's something you must must tell my brother Gordon. Tell him I know he has great strength. to have more faith in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn Finn fell so quickly is that. Count Morgan betrayed us. He's been made a general in the Imperial Army. There is one more thing. Tell Hilda. Tell Hilda that I love her. Number. No, don't deliver that last message. The confessions of a dying man, they would only bring her pain. Maria, my me brother, Lian. Have you heard of him? Scott, I'm sorry, but I have not. I wish I could be of more help.
Remind me to figure out how to add a line break after in these games. Scott here. I want you to take my ring. I'm sure it will be of use. Maybe it's all this talking if you'd have grown extremely tired. If you'll excuse me, I just need to rest. Just for a little while. And he put. You obtained Scott's ring. Let's go back to the first town and fulfill the dying man's wit. Woo! Did you see that?
Did I change the game? Nope, guess I didn't. It appears twice in the list. Just like Final Fantasy! Hilda, that ring belonged to Scott. Says he's he alive. He gave us this ring and Finn just before he lost the last of his strength. Hilda, did Hedity say anything? Furion, no nothing. Your Highness, please. The ring belongs with you. Hilda, number. Keep it. It suits a personage of courage. You infiltrated Finn and returned to tell the tale. You've proven yourselves quite capable. It would seem I underestimated your strength. I would have you lend the strength to our cause. There is a magical metal known as Mithra, and we need strong warriors if we are to obtain it. So again, and Mithra comes from Lord of the Rings. You 
You'll see it in pretty much any RPG, TTRPG, CRPG, JRPG that has any high fantasy settings. Hilda, we lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire fought with weapons and armor made of mithril. I have charged Joseph, a man living in Salaman, with the task of finding a source of mithril. I do not know the cause, but we've been out of contact with him for some time now. Would you go with Minwu to Salaman to look into this? words and have waited here for you since. To reach Salamand, we must first pass through the port town of Palum. Take my canoe and let us be on our way. Minwu joined the party. So this is the first game where temporary party members are a thing. You obtained a canoe. Not sure. But for some reason the gamepad just randomly stops working. So we're going to try and keep the stream under four hours unless I forget. Because the 12 hour streams for Final Fantasy one kind of wore me out.
Like, I don't have to limit myself to four, but sometimes I just start feeling tired and I can't push through it. This guy is a healer with a bunch of stuff. Maybe we aren't supposed to be here. As you pray, a warm light suddenly envelops you, and a voice overflowing with compassion rings in your ears. Wandering soul, return now from that distant land, where sorrow and darkness hold sway. Wait, that was like 10 times it was last time.
Now, I guess the question is which direction was the port? That not good. I guess we do not go that way. I 
maybe southeast. You folks wouldn't be looking to book passage on a ship, would ye? For just 32 gil, we'll see ye safely to Poft. Let me explore first, Dex. The ship hidden out of our little port will take you straight to Poft. That came to sus. Wait, was this the game where you get the bargain in price and get robbed? I guess we can find out. Nope, guess not. has an attack Palum or Puffed, at least not yet. Five Salaman ones he passed Puffed. They say all the cities are under the control of the Empire.
Pirate, now there's a fine lass. How's about you and me go have a drink? Maru, with you. Not a chance. Notice this pirate had a name. Sus. This is Plume. It's just a little port town. A town of freedom. Want to settle down here with me, handsome? Done. Just board the ship in front of town and off you go. Poft this is the port of Poft. Salamand is to the north, and to our east is Basque. The city to our east is under the control of the Emperor. They're building something terrible there. All these guys say the same thing.
Oh, wait. Hey. Sid's underling, can I interest you folks in a ride on Sid's pride and joy, the only airship of its kind in all the world? No matter how far, we'll take you to your destination in the blink of an eye. Wade, was that his ship we saw on the overworld? Of course, transportation of this fine caliber comes at a cost. Interested. Maybe later. You here to ride the airship? If you've got the cash, there's no place I can't take ya. Airship, you pay the guy behind me. Have you seen the airship? It belongs to a fellow named Sid who lives right here in Poft. He's the only one around who can fly it. Okay, who are we supposed to find?
be right back.